This is K2 News at 11 on your side. This particular variant, um, yes, we're very concerned about it because it does seem to spread more rapidly. How it does that is still, I think, very much up in the air. We are learning more tonight about the new coronavirus variant found in Oregon. Health officials are now warning there could be more people infected, a lot more. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Katherine Kissel. Yesterday, we learned that someone in Multnomah County tested positive for the UK variant that is known for spreading a lot faster than the original strain. Today, we found out that person who tested positive is employed at the University of Portland. That's where we find K2's Allison Mechanic tonight. And Allison, you spoke with university officials. How is this infected person doing, first of all? Well, Catherine, we're told that they are feeling well, and despite testing positive, they're not showing any symptoms. The interesting thing was the only reason why they know that this person had tested positive with this new strain is because they had a random test done at the university earlier this week. It was quite a shock because they hadn't traveled, but health professionals tell us they're not surprised. A new variant of the coronavirus first discovered in the United Kingdom has found its way to the Rose City, specifically the University of Portland. With all that is unknown still uh, about this particular strain, it's always a concern. So Michael Llewellyn with the University of Portland says the staffer tested positive for the coronavirus last week after a random test, but they only found out that they had the new variant last night. And as far as where he may have actually contracted it, uh, that is uh, uh, still being being looked at by uh, by the uh, the health authorities. The staffer had not traveled recently, but health professionals say that doesn't matter. It's probably been circulating in the U.S. for much longer than we knew. They knew about it in the U.K. because they did much more genomic sequencing, so they knew more about the strains um, as they were circulating. Do you yeah. think that we probably have more than that? Oh, we have we have a lot more. Health professionals say the UK was the first to discover the variant and follow it, but it doesn't mean that's where the strain originated. They also believe that this won't be the last variant we see, so they're hoping the country will continue to update their tests so if a new strain is found, people can know right away. And if you're getting a test, you might get a false negative because this new variant is not updated in the uh, in the in the in the testing that we're doing now. We're told that the staffer who tested positive had minimal contact with other people's, but those that he did come in contact with have been quarantining ever since his test came back positive. We're also told that coming up this week, students are going to begin coming back to the university because of the spring semester. We're told that this will not hold up any of those procedures in North Portland. Allison Mechanic, K2 News. Allison, thank you. Oregon is one of 19 states now reporting cases of the new variant. The CDC fears it could make the pandemic much worse, warning it can soon become the predominant variant, all while the country is approaching more than 400,000 deaths. It is going to burden the healthcare system. It is only going to increase the number of deaths, and it is going to spread the illness faster throughout the country. Today, the Oregon Health Authority tweeted an eye-opening reality, saying, quote, being young does not mean someone isn't vulnerable to the coronavirus. OHA reported the death of a 19-year-old man from Marion County this week. They tweeted tonight he did have underlying health conditions. OHA says this is the fourth person under the age of 30 in Oregon to die from complications related to the virus. As of January 13th, more than 100 people, 19 and younger, have been hospitalized in Oregon. And 30 inmates have now died after testing positive for the virus. The Oregon Department of Corrections announced two more deaths today, one at the Snake River Correctional Facility in Malheur County and the other at Two Rivers Correctional Facility in Umatilla County. The DOC says anyone entering their facilities has to wear a mask and their buildings are disinfected several times a day.